Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Oh my god, Atlas! Yippee! Hi! Oh my goodness! Oh my good gosh! Oh my gracious! Oh shit! Hi! Oh fuck. Wait, am I following you? I should be following you. Okay, I am following you, thank god. Because I was like, oh fuck, have I followed you yet? I should be. Hi, Atlas! <laughs> welcome! Hi, everybody, welcome! How are we doing today? Um, overlay. OMG, is that the fennel time? Gosh! Yes, it is me! Hi! Hello, hello! Hi, everybody! Um... Okay, my game audio... There we go. There it is. Hey, guys! I'm in the wrong position. I'm in the wrong position. There we go. I'm where I'm supposed to be now. Hi, everyone! Hi, hello! You're pogging? I am pogging, too! I'm doing pretty pog. Why is my music and game audio playing at the same time? There we go. I had to turn off my BGM. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, yesterday, uh, <laughs> yesterday I felt pretty shit, but I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling better today. I know I talked about it on stream yesterday that I've been struggling with my depression. Who would have thought I'm mentally ill? We all know this. This is nothing new. Yesterday, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have streamed, but I felt a lot better after streaming, so that's that's how it tends to go. Was It was a very self-serving stream, but at least we got some art done. A whole one meme done. Today, though, I'm pogging pretty solid. Did I wake up at 4 p.m.? Yes, but I also learned how to use the voice uh, the, the, the voice message feature on Discord. <laughs> and that was funny. I've been enjoying that. Ah. Welcome in, Twinkle Twos. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, hi, Twinkle Twos. Welcome in. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling be way better than I did yesterday. I learned how to voice message on Discord, and that was very fun and exciting for me. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I love the voice message feature. I'm glad it's added. I love it too. It's just so silly. Um, as someone who doesn't have an iPhone, like, I've always wanted to do voice tweets, but I fucking can't. Because I have a Google Pixel, um, which is iOS using. Um, so right now, uh, voice messages on Discord are filling the void in my heart left by the fact that I can't uh, voice tweet. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Yeah, I want to voice tweet so fucking bad. Shakes your hand, Atlas. Oh my god. VTubers and wanting to voice tweet, but then not being able to. <laughs> it's bad. It's so bad. Also, I'm so sorry that this cutscene just keeps playing on repeat. It's gonna keep playing on repeat, because that's, um... That's... It, it's gonna keep playing on repeat until I actually start the game. Where'd I put my controller? People are missing out on our brilliant thoughts. For real. Real. Real and true. I think this cutscene is cool. Thank God. It is cool. It is cool. I like this opening cutscene. It just, it's, it's playing on loop while I'm talking. Um, and I imagine that can get annoying sometimes. So, uh, cope, I guess. <laughs> Have a little bit of cope. Um, I need to find my controller, actually. Did I turn everything on that I'm supposed to have on? I did! Oh my god, I remembered to turn tits on. I did it. Holy shit. Controller. Blech. I'm trying to make lazy Froyo and hopefully I'll be able to join it tonight, but probably not until tomorrow. That's so valid. Yippee! I know nothing about Okami, but I know the puppy is very good. The puppy is so good. I'm pretty deep into the game right now, so I'm sorry if you're going to be missing shit. I actually don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I'll be honest. I don't remember where I am in the story. I don't remember where I left off because I'm really good at that. Is my controller connected? It is! Oh my god, controller working first try, real, not clickbait. I am um, okay, so I guess I'm in Sasa Sanctuary. Where did I leave off? If I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna Let's load the file. And then let me use my little brain to see if I can remember where I was. 
I believe. I believe last I left off. Um, we sent we sent Kaguya to the moon because it turns out the woman named Kaguya, who was found in a bamboo field by an old bamboo man who looks who looked kind of fucking weird. Uh, is actually an alien. Who would have thought that Kaguya, the weird bug, pretty bug looking girl named Kaguya is an alien. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Um, I think that's where we left off. And I think we're supposed to go back to the capital now? Back to the capital? Um, because Waka has been talking shit to us about things like he does. I should have, I have new stuff in my bestiary. Oh yeah, new, new fuckers. The mirrors that I just don't bother fighting. I just use the talismans and smite them. God, I love the boss designs. Oh, Blight, that's right. We fought Blight who was poisoning the capital city uh, by possessing uh, the emperor question mark. Um, we got some new treasures that I think, oh no, I haven't sold them. I have a bunch of shit that I need to sell still. Okay. Um, how am I on stray beads? I have fucking none stray beads, apparently. All right. Logbook. What does it want us to do? Who is this? Who are you? I have no idea where to find any of those. This game is so fucking long. Himiko, Queen of Nippon. Mmm, city's bigwigs, Isun, whatever, whatever, whatever. So does that mean I need to go harass Queen Himiko? I guess I need to go harass Queen Himiko? Let's go cause some problems for Queen Himiko in, uh, in, in the capital, I think, I think. That's probably where we should be going. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I should find somewhere to sell stuff to that's maybe a little closer to the capital. Actually, I can use... There's a mermaid pool in the capital, right? Can I just use the mermaid pool that's over here? Hello? Direction. Directional skills? This way. This way. This way is the way I want to go. Okay. Mermaid pool, please. As a treat. Mm, where is it? Where are you? Mermaid pool? Mermaid pool. No? No? It's up on this hill? I can't double jump that high. This dog has no ups. This dog's ups are pathetic. Um... Can I get the treasure chest that's... over up in there now? What abilities do I have? What am I capable of? Not even I know what I'm capable of. I mean, I can blow things. Oh, I can double jump now. So yeah, I actually, I can. It's gonna suck because I hate platforming in this game, but I can technically do this. Okay. And then we're gonna blow the wind again. Keep it going. Hey, you're wasting my time with this cutscene. Don't do that to me. No, 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 no. Okay. Come on, doggy. Okay. Wind, keep going. Hey. Nope. Keep, keep working for me. I hate platforming this game. 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 <sighs> okay. It was worth it. It was worth it for this thing that I, for this fucking item I'm never going to use, but it was worth it because now it's mine. Now it's mine and that's all that matters. It's fucking whimsy. It is fucking whimsy. It's fucking whimsy. I am mermaid queen, please. No, why no? Why no mermaid coin? Am I not close enough to the pool? If I climb in the water, am I close enough? Now I am. Yes, please. It fucking whimsy. It's almost like I am the goddess mother of all that is good, Amaterasu. 
Um, I want to go to the capital. Uh, Ryoshima Coast. I think Ryoshima Coast is the capital. Or at least by the capital. Closer than I am to the capital. Okay. I am here now. Ooh, horsey. I fed horsey already. Okay. Um, let's see. I need to go to... This way, I think, I think. Also, give me a second. I want to turn up. I, where are our audio settings, please? No, no audio settings. No audio settings for me. Okay, fine. Let me turn up my audio manually. God. Hi, cryptids. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> My specialty. <laughs> Horse skulls be thick? They are thick. I've held them. They're fucking heavy. Horse skulls are really heavy. They're huge. I just want you guys to be able to really hear the music well, okay? I really like the music in Okami. Very important to me. Let's see. Okay, so in here, I should be able to sell a bunch of shit. Yes. Yes, I should be able to sell shit. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care what you're saying. I just want to sell so many items. I do look forward to fishing, though. I do want to spend a long time fishing. What if I just fished for the rest of the stream? Hmm. What if I just spend the rest of the stream fishing and not progressing the story at all? How would we feel about that? <laughs> How would that be? Would we like that? I think I think I would like that. Yes, I would like to shop, please. I mean, when I play Kirby in the Forgotten Land, there's fishing in Kirby? I didn't know there was fishing. Mm, delicious sound. Oh, crunchy. It's so good. Oh my god, okay. Oh yeah, I need to sell these guys, too. That's some good money. Good money, good money. Alright. Going to buy... A mixture of many mes medicines capable of curing any ailment. Charcoal. I'm gonna buy these. Not that I know what they're for, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need them. Um, can I buy some more? I'd like some slips. Not some bones, but some slips. Maybe the other store will have some slips. Sup, weapon dealer. I think you have some gold dust that I should grab. Not that I've used any of the gold dust that I have, but I should take your gold dust and hold on to it. In case one day I decide to actually upgrade any of my weapons because I'm indecisive. Um, ooh. Find seven part grants ink bullet. Well, I want this. And then I want all the gold dust you have. And then I think I would like some exorcism slips. Though I'm starting to look a little more broke now. Um, let's do some medium slip. All right, now I have no money, but that's okay. Um, equipment. Mm, I kind of want to try it. I should go find something to kill. Excuse me, sir. Um, is there anything around here still that I want? What's in here? Who, who's in here? 
This looks like an important building. Oh my god. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> The afternoon is so relaxing. I mean, everything's all ready. Now all we have to do is wait for the customers. Cat girl in Mayokami, right? A cat girl? A big smile is the key to serving customers. She's really cute. <laughs> She's really cute. <laughs> Cat girl in Okami, not clickbait. I'm gonna break all your things, uh, sir. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna break everything you have. Pretend, pretend you didn't see it happen. I imagine he'll want me to light that fire somehow at some point. Hello there, pup. You look like someone who appreciates fine cuisine. I do like food, yes. Proper diet is key to life. Eat well and be healthy. Uh, no, I can't say that I eat properly, but yeah, it's fine. I'm Yama, top chef in Saiyan City. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> You're cat boy coded. Oh my god, cat boys and cat girls? Diversity win, equality, finally. What do you think about this huge pot on this giant stove? Impressed, eh? I invested every yen in, uh, to my name into it, into one. I'm so sorry, I'm dyslexic. I had to get him special order for what I'm aiming to do. This is what the gamers want. It is what the gamers want. Ever heard the tale about that mushroom? Uh, that mushroom. There's not a single chef in the world that doesn't know about it. I'm talking about the legendary golden mushroom. I spent decades trying to master the culinary arts, but I've yet to make a dish that truly satisfies me. That's sad. If only I could get my paws. Oh, sir, you're a meow meow. He's just a little meow meow, guys. Oh, he's just a little meow meow. If only I could get my paws on one of those golden mushrooms. I'm sure I could prove my true skill by making the ultimate dish. I already have this huge pot and giant stove. All I need now is a golden mushroom. Then I'll master the art of cooking. That is my dream. Hmm? Could it be? Oh yeah, I already have a golden mushroom, don't I? Is that... Is that the legendary golden mushroom? Yeah, I, I, I could have sworn I've picked up a golden mushroom. That sparkling gold color. That captivating shape. Yes, there can be no doubt. Where in the world did you find it, pup? I don't fucking remember. That was like a week ago. Oh, never mind that. With that mushroom, I could fulfill my dream. My dream to master the art of cooking. Please, pup, I must have that mushroom. What could a dog do with it anyway? Yeah, you can have it, sure. I don't like mushrooms anyway. Really? Oh, thank you. You're such a good pup. With this golden mushroom, I will attempt to make the ultimate dish. Imagine bartering with a puppy. Everyone be bartering with puppies in this fucking game. All the time, always. I, I personally, so so my, my job other than, other than this streaming thing is that I pet sit and I spend a lot of time bartering with puppies. I be waking up every day and I'm like, hey, Sadie, hey, Sadie, I know you're old. I know you're old and you're deaf and you're probably going blind from your cataracts. But girly, do not make me carry you outside to piss. Please don't make me carry you outside. You're very heavy. 
You're like 60 pounds. I know you can walk. I know you're not in pain. You don't have arthritis. You're just lazy and old and deaf and going blind. Sadie, I beg of you. Please walk outside on your own legs and I will give you a cookie. Please. I barter with my puppy to make her not bark at ungodly hours of the night. That too. I really do barter like that too with my puppies. Oh yes, the ultimate dish. I was so overwhelmed by emotion when the legendary golden mushroom... Uh, hydrate or dehydrate? Thank you, Fred. I shall. I have a brisk. A brisk iced tea. A lemon brisk iced tea. It's mostly sugar water. Legendary golden mushroom came into my paws. Not a day has passed without preparing this huge pot. Brisk iced tea, my beloved, my beloved. I drink real tea too, but sometimes you just really want to brisk, you know? It hits different. Brisk, it's, it's like... It's like Taco Bell versus like real tacos, you know what I mean? Like going to like a proper like Mexican place and getting some like real whole actual tacos. You know, it's, that's, that's how I feel between like drinking an actual lemon tea versus like a brisk tea, you know? Like this isn't, this brisk tea is not tea, okay? It's not even iced tea, but like, it is what I want though. <laughs> Cause I like Taco Bell, but I have to, but I have to brew fresh tea. That's fair. It's, it's, it's a matter of taste, you know, it's like, you don't go to Taco Bell wanting authentic Mexican food, you know? You don't go to Taco Bell saying, I would like authentic, authentic mama's, mama's cooking uh, tacos, you know? You go to Taco Bell for Taco Bell. <laughs> you go to Taco Bell to get Taco Bell, you know? Like I don't drink brisk, brisk lemon iced tea because I want a lemon iced tea. I drink it because I want brisk. You know, if I wanted a lemon iced tea, I would go make a lemon iced tea. But no, I want brisk. I want brisk tea. I live in a sweet tea kind of place, and let me tell you, I do not like sweet tea. I understand. I, um, I went from not sweet tea country, um, but having a sweet tea family to now, I think we're bordering sweet tea country. I think we're bordering the sweet uh, sweet tea area. There's people with southern accents here, which I imagine means the sweet tea happens. I think sweet tea happens where there's southern accents. Um, but yeah, we got some southern accents here, and uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't care either way. <laughs> I like sweet tea and I like unsweetened tea. I just like tea. I like that good leaf water. You don't go to McDonald's to get good food. You go to get fast food. Exactly. You go to McDonald's for McDonald's. You don't go because you want some banging chicken tenders or like a fat ass, you know, a fat ass juicy boy. You go because you want McDonald's. <laughs> hot leaf juice. Hot leaf juice. It's the good hot leaf juice. I shall wait no more, pup. Today, the fiery chef Yama will prepare the ultimate dish. No, watch carefully, pup. You may learn a thing or two. Behold, Yama's super deluxe ban the flames dance. Oh, hell yeah. I'll get it. Damn. There's no flames. But there's no flames to be fanning. I don't have a flame. I don't have a flame technique. <laughs> I don't have a flame technique. I'm so sorry, Yama. <laughs> Yama, I don't have a flame technique. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have a flame technique yet. Uh, what? The pot's not getting hot enough for the ultimate dish. I fan so hard, but it didn't even come to a boil. It's because there's no fire. Maybe I didn't stir the air enough? Yeah, there's no fire. Nothing back there? Oh! Isn't the mark of Moe Gane, the god of Inferno, drawn on it? Did he put that there thinking he could harness the power of Inferno to heat up that huge pot? For once, Isun. 
you know, Isun, for once you've said something useful. Thank you. Oh, shit. I think I just almost killed Yama. <laughs> I, ro I roasted the poor Nyan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, Yama. I know what to do now. I know what to do now, Yama. Let's try again. You you'll get it this time, okay? I promise. He's looking like a whole meal right now, for real, for real. Hey, for real, for real. Wink. We got this. We got this. We got this. Get it, Yama. Yeah, pop off. You got it, meow meow. He's my little meow meow. Okay, now we do... Whoa. Fire. Hi, Moegami. I don't remember the voice I gave Moegami, but it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, yippee! <laughs> ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. My power had diminished while you were away. But that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Unleash your wrath in mighty fire burst. Moagami got that dank pipe. Oh, the dankest. This bird is lit. Thank you, though, Moagami. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. That's a lot of food. <laughs> I did it. My long cherished dream. The ultimate dish is ready. I give you rice stew eruption. Well, what do you think, Pop? Pretty impressive, eh? Rice stew eruption. Not bad, but we can tell but we can't tell how it tastes just by looking at it. But enough about that. I never thought you'd get the power of Moegami here, Ami. Remember that mark on the wall? Draw that! Yeah, I don't care, Isun. You can shut up now. I get the idea. I get the idea, Isun. You can stop talking. You can stop talking now. Thank you. Rice stew. It looks like a good rice stew. A good kongi. Uh, a mushroom and a mushroom kongi? Probably like a mushroom kongi. I could go for fish kongi right about now. It's like, it's been kind of cold today, even though it was really hot the last few days. And the moment the temperature drops, my brain is like, mm, it's soup time. It's soup time. Please. More soup for me in my hands. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Whatever, I can light things on fire now, though, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go light the big thing in the middle of town on fire. So I feel like that's something that I should do. Soup sipping? Mm. What's your soup of choice if you could have soup right now? Ooh, that's a good question. I am. Soup of choice if I could have soup right now? I would say probably like a fish kongi or um, I don't know. I can't, I'm kind of down to just drink broth. I'm not going to lie to you. I think given a, if given the opportunity, I would just drink, just drink straight up broth. And they must use it to light up the road at night, but it hasn't really out of nowhere. I, I think, honestly, I may end up taking a break, even though I just fucking started. Shit, I just burnt everything down. What the fuck? Um, I may take a break in a second to go get some soup. To go make myself some broth. For those of you not in the know, uh, fennel time. 
notoriously bad at staying hydrated and also has low blood pressure. So soup is very good for me. Drinking broth, so good for me. Like so, so good for me. I need the salt. I need the salt and the liquid. Um, so I might end up going to make myself some, some broth. Just some instant broth. Take a little sippy. When I was younger, I used to make like stovetop instant ramen and then separate the broth into a mug and drink that and then... What the fuck? <laughs> hey Atlas, wait a second. Hey Atlas. Hey Atlas, can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> Hi, I've known you for like all of three days, maybe. Can we like talk about this for a second, actually? Hi, I wanna, dr I wanna address this, please. Um, I think that sounds like almost the weirdest shit I have ever heard. <laughs> I have ever heard someone do with ramen. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Alice. That is like, that is like the step in between like the sociopathic people who make ramen noodles and then strain the soup entirely and just eat the noodle. And like the regular way you eat ramen noodle, the way you're supposed to, you know? Because I've had people in my life that straight up strain the soup. And like the soup just goes down the drain. And I'm like, you're actually a criminal and a sociopath. You, what do you mean? That's the best part. That's the best part. Why are you straining the soup away? That's the soup. It's ramen. But like what you're what you've described to me, Atlas, what you have just told us, the class, the class of fennel time. Um is is so many extra steps. It's so many extra steps. That is so many steps. Instant ramen's supposed to be lazy. You're just supposed to stick some water in that and then eat it. <laughs> but you're adding so many steps. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I've changed my ways since then. I mean, sure, okay. I would drain the water before adding the packet. When I was younger and Alice just seems to have saved the water and had drier ramen. We might have to talk about this chat. We might have to talk about this for a while at some point. We might have to sit down and I might need to like, do we need to have, to, do, do we need to have a talk chat? Do we need to have a talk? Hey, do I need to teach you guys how to eat food? Do I need to teach you guys how food is supposed to be eaten? I, like you guys don't want to learn how to eat food from me like the fact that I'm out here being like hey chat do you need to learn how to eat food guys I eat bugs I eat bugs I eat bugs and drink vinegar and you're gonna learn how to eat from me y'all what's going on hey What's going on? Hey, hey, hey. Are you looking at me? Hey. <laughs> I'm snapping. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm dangling some keys. I'm dangling some keys in your face. Jingle, jingle like a toddler. Hey. Drink your soup. <laughs> it's okay. Fred, Fred role plays. <laughs> don't mind Fred. Fred's a role player. <laughs> I think people should commit more food crimes, actually. Ify, you're so brave. You're so brave, Ify. And that's why I'm an Ify stan. Hey, everyone, go follow Ify. Everyone, go follow Ify. Um, I'm an Ify fan. Ify is my Oshi. Considering the fact that I destroyed my 
party pies with my microwave. Maybe I do need to learn from you. <laughs> oh no. Put your ramen in a tortilla and make it a burrito. That's actually kind of massive. Also, Atlas, it has been a pleasure to get to know you. <laughs> Shakes your hand in hyperfixation, freak ass behavior, heart emoji. Can we light this, please? Cool. Also, I accidentally killed this tree. Can I bring the leaves back? There we go. Just another version of iCarly spaghetti tacos. Oh my god. Did you guys ever make spaghetti tacos as a kid? Like when iCarly was still a thing? Like, did you guys ever do that? Cause I did that. I used to make spaghetti tacos. No, a crime. That's a fucking travesty. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it good? No, it's not good, but it's like, you know, it's part of my youth. It was part of my, my uh, young, teenager tweenager era you know what i mean so i have no idea what that just activated but it made an activation sound it made the sound of i did something right i didn't but i always crave smoothies whenever that one episode the ostrich rerun ah the ostrich rerun i love that i still crave smoothies all the time so i not to dox myself i feel like i feel like it's a wide enough uh a wide enough thing that it's not an issue uh to say but i live in wawa country do y'all do y'all know what wawas are do y'all know wawa because i live in wawa country i live in the wawa part of the world um that's the wrong thing oh okay no yeah it's definitely an american thing and i think it's very like an an it's very uh what's it called what is what a uh, very east coast south southeast i don't know my directions i don't know my cardinal directions i'm so sorry but it's a it's a it's a gas station it's a gas station chain um in in my part of the world in my part of the u.s and uh wow an east coaster shake my head i know i'm sorry i'm so sorry that's my sin to bear I keep making friends with other VTubers and they're all like West Coast or Canadian and I'm like, oh fuck. God damn it. Hell. Um, but yeah, so Wawa is is a gas station chain in, in my my neck of the woods. And they have like a pretty massive like food menu. And especially drink menu. They have a massive drink menu. And they have uh, a lot of smoothies. And their smoothies kind of bang. I'm kind of crazy about a good Wawa smoothie. I usually get a mango. A mango smoothie from Wawa. Um, if I don't get a coffee. Typically I go to coffee. Because I'm a coffee drinker. Significant. Big, big coffee drinker. Um... And they have like a lot of coffee drinks. Like you can get like coffee milkshakes, like exp espresso milkshakes and stuff like that from Wawa. But uh, if I'm not feeling uh, the caffeine and I feel like I need something that is sl slightly more healthy of me, um, I get a mango. I get a mango milkshake. Not a mango milkshake, a mango smoothie. But it's kind of a mango milkshake because they use yogurt. They use yogurt and cream in it. And it's very good and yummy. I'm just going around lighting all of these. And I don't know if I actually need to, but I want to. Called Boost? I think I've heard of Boost. I think I've heard of Boost. Probably heard it from some, like, Aussie VTuber that I watch. I don't know. You Australians confuse and con confound me. I don't understand. I don't understand, y'all. <laughs> y'all Australians frighten me frighten me and yet I remain jealous I want to be able to just go outside and pick up a fucking lizard instead I have to go outside and pick up snakes instead damn shame all I have are snakes no lizard y'all have blue tongue skinks and bearded dragons too right 
Bearded dragons are Australian, aren't they? <laughs> oh, fuck. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm out of... Maybe I'm way out of... Like... I haven't done zoo education in a long ass time. I haven't been a zookeeper in 30 million years. Ooh! Chinese cabbage. I love Chinese cabbage. Put that shit in a hot pot. Put that shit in a hot pot with a good broth. Let it soak for 30 years. And get real mushy. I haven't had a hot pot in a long time. Normally my family does hot pot for New Year's, but um... Uh, I don't think we did it this year. I think we just had dim sum. I think we had dim sum for New Year's instead. Circular pixels, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My besties and my partner and I have a tradition of doing it on New Year's. Yeah, it's so nice. Hot Pot is a New Year's kind of thing. Hot Pot's an, a holiday thing. Peter dragons live in Australia. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad that I'm not like, I'm not gonna lie. How's my fellow Themlin? I am just a little creature, your honor. Every day, I would be waking up being a little creature. I am mentally ill, but we're getting through it. We're coping, we're doing good today. Yesterday was kind of shit, but today, today kind of banging. Today we're doing kind of good. We're doing kind of fucking sick. Feeling pretty sick with it but sick positive rather than sick derogatory. But yeah, hot pot is a good celebration thing. Hot pot is a good celebration thing. That's the thing you do on holidays. It's a must, it's very important. Also for the bearded dragon thing, what I was gonna say is I do get, I spend a lot of time, like to be honest, I do get really insecure that I uh, have forgotten like so much of the knowledge that I used to hold when I was a zookeeper. Um, because I've been getting a lot of followers lately, so a lot of you might not know my lore. My real life, actual human lore. Um, I don't have VTuber lore. I mean, I guess I do. My VTuber lore is that I'm a little, I'm a fucking daikon radish. That's all it is. Um, but my human lore, my human real person lore is that I am chronically ill. And um, when I was a wee child, uh, basically, since I was uh, four years old, I decided I was going to be a zookeeper. And so I spent my entire life studying to be a zookeeper. And I started uh, volunteering at zoos at 13 or 14 years old. And I started even before that, I was uh, working as a farm. I, I was assisting on a fa as a farmhand um, and I still do farmhand work. Uh, but I used to do a lot of farmhand work. I worked in a significant number of rescues. Um, I started volunteering at zoos, actual zoos, around 13 or 14 years old. But before that, I was working in rescues and, uh, and, and working on farms and things like that. Because, uh, basically since I could talk, which I started talking at, like, uh, way too young, but I would go up to zookeepers and be like, Hey, so I want to be a zookeeper. What do I do to be a zookeeper? And I'd like carry around a little notebook and take notes and everything. And they would all tell me, uh, just work with animals as much as you can. And that's the way to do it. And I took that uh, so seriously. Um, I was homeschooled. And so I had basically all the time ever to do, to, to study. And so I spent my entire life studying. Um, and then I got really sick. <laughs> and then I got really sick. And uh, I don't do that anymore because I can't stand for that long. Um, and so there are points in my life where I, I like I do start to like get maybe a little a little self-conscious um, that I spent so long studying this thing that I no longer use or can use. Um, and that not only that, but because I don't use it as regularly as I used to that, you know, it's the whole use it or lose it mentality. Um, since I'm not spending my days going around like, um, doing like presentations on animals and studying behavior and, and 
uh, building enrichment puzzles for fucking lemurs and shit like that, you know. I, uh, it, 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 it gets me sometimes a little bit. Um, I've done exactly two things with my life, which is zookeeping and gymnastics. Um, both of which I, I started gymnastics when I was two. Um, basically as soon as I could walk, I started gymnastics. And then I was a gymnastics coach and director. Um, I directed the competitive and, um, the competitive and, uh, recreational program. I wrote our lessons plans. I taught up into, I think the highest level of my students was level eight. Um... And then, uh, same dealio as zookeeping. I got sick and I no longer do that anymore. And so that's another, uh, exa exactly two things that I've done with my entire life. Nothing else. I've studied it, uh, obsessively. Um... And I simply do not use it anymore. So if any VTubers out there, hey, VTuber collab idea, if any of you want to learn how to do a flip, yo, I can teach you how to do a flip so good. I can teach you how to do a flip like so fucking good. Um, it's, I'm damn good at teaching flips. Uh, I used to teach adaptive gymnastics too. It doesn't matter. You can have, guys, hey, you can be disabled and do a flip. Just letting you know. I taught kids who had fused hip joints how to do a flip. I taught kids who had like one arm how to do a flip. You know, my my specialty was adaptive, uh, was adaptive uh, teaching. So I specialized in teaching um, uh, students who had different uh, adaptive needs. Honestly, if you did something like a presentation once a month on your special interest, I'd totally watch. It tempts me. I've considered it. I think I mused for a long time um, about doing a stream where I just go over gymnastics in anime and I just talk about how it's animated and like the accuracy of it and stuff like that. Um, because I saw I saw one clip, I think it's from. So like a Kebby sailor sailor uniform or some shit like that and some slice of life, whatever anime. But this girl, the main character, she does a lot of flips. She's like a gymnast or something. And uh, I saw it and I'm like, damn, wait a second. <laughs> I know this. She's doing a little, she's doing a little uh, illusion. She's doing a little front walk over into an illusion. She's doing her round off back handspring, back handspring into a, a uh, what was it? I think it was a, um, a full twisting layout. And I'm like, damn. This is pretty clean. <laughs> You'd eat that shit up. I'd have to figure out how to make it like actually interesting and like visually compelling. Persona 5 Royale has a companion character who does gymnastics. Oh shit. All right. I'm gonna have to make like a call out on Twitter or something and be like, send me all of the gymnastics in anime slash video games that you got. And I will talk about it using my 15, fuck, no, it was over 15 years of gymnastics experience. I think I trained personally for 15 years. And then I was a teacher for five. I think I was a teacher for five. There was overlap there, by the way. I'm only 23. Um, I... Atlas? Kaleidostar Nowhere? <gasps> you said, you said this, you said the sleeper word. You said the sleeper word. You said the sleeper, sleep, sleeper word. <laughs> Kaleidostar Nowhere? You're in Kaleidostar Nowhere? <laughs> Yeah. 
to start with my dad when I was like four. <laughs> I used I watched Kaleido start since I was like a little baby. <laughs> I used to tell my dad that I was gonna be that girl. <laughs> That I was gonna be Sora? Her name's Sora, right? <laughs> My goal as a kid, okay, because I was a gymnast and like a zookeeper for equal times. I used to, I, my, what I used to say as like a wee wee child was that I was gonna be a gym, I was gonna be like a circus zookeeper. <laughs> because I wanted to do zookeeping and be in the circus. I've done aerial circus arts. I've trained circus arts a little bit. Not, I'm not like, I'm not like high key, but I used to do aerial circus. I trained in Lyra and uh, and and aerial silks, um, and I wanted to do trapeze, but I never got to do it. I never got around to it. But I did aerial silks and Lyra, um, which is the aerial hoop, and and also pole dancing. Um, I did pole dancing, which is a circus art. I would say pole dancing overlaps a lot with a lot of circus arts and gymnastics. It's you know it, it it's sort of just like in that group of things. If you do dance and gymnastics, you can get into circus. And if you're into circus, you'll probably want to try pole dancing because it's all kind of just like a conglomerate that all feeds into each other really well. <laughs> Little seal guys so precious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going fucking crazy with it. I'm going crazy with it. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Okami. Hi. Hi, my name is Fennel Time, VTuber extraordinaire, and I really like Kaleido Star. <laughs> Maybe not sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Who needs to stay on task? I've never stayed on task a day in my life. I have ADHD. <laughs> Shut up, Sean! You silence. <laughs> anyway, Kaleido Star watch along in my uh in my Discord when, haha, <laughs> Twirl's hair, exclamation point Discord if you want to join my Discord, haha. <laughs> when am I one of these days I'm gonna do just a Kaleido Star watch along. I'm just gonna turn it on and like it's gonna be the English dub because I think the English dub is really funny. I know the Japanese dub is objectively better. But the English dub is really funny and really endearing to me. So I'll just turn on the English dub in my Discord. And I'll just fucking let it go. And we can all just work while, <laughs> while listening to Kaleido Star. The Himiko's people all sound like a bunch of parrots. Sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> I mean, you can stand on those evil monsters, but I think they're no match for brush techniques of the gods. What do you want me to do? Light them on fire? Fuck, sure I'll light them on fire. What? I lit you on fire! The reason that curse seems to have dissipated. There's still a sinister presence out of Ryoshima Coast, though. I don't give a shit what you have to say. I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of being on this game for over two months now, how much is left? I have no idea. I have no idea how much is left anymore. I do dehydrate. Thank you, Fred. You guys are like that one Fall Out Boy song, the Phoenix one. You're about halfway through the game. Uh, incredible. Yeah, Okami's kind of a thick fucking game. I'm not gonna lie. I'll play you like a remix and then I'll raise you like a Phoenix. Is that the line? I'll play you like a remix, then I'll raise you like a phoenix. Wah! Like them, so like them up. Light it up, 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 light it up, up. <laughs> I'm on fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can tell, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a prolific singor of, um, of, of, what? It, what genre is Fallout Boy? I'm bad at naming genres. 
if you want 100% the, the story you have a lot to go my songs know what you did in the dark you know what i did in the dark it's kind of fucked up it's kind of fucked up pop punk okay cool <laughs> thank you look a follow boy karaoke stream do it do it do it do it do it yeah i don't know how to name i i cannot for the life of me name um genres so um i'm simply a, a little guy i'm just a little guy your honor i don't know what brush technique they want me to do let me just slice them in half like what do you want oh wait i have a slow down time technique don't i Anyway, bye. Um, if you need music genre info, just call me. It's my only useful trait. I, yeah, you're so valid. You're so valid. Based on the Discord, your fellow cookie run enjoyer. Oh, <gasps> Atlas, I am. I haven't been keeping up, but I. I haven't been keeping up with playing it, but I am a cookie run lore. Uh, I do keep up with the lore. I keep up with the lore and the story, even if I um I don't play it so much anymore. I was actually more of an oven break uh, player. Um, fun fact, fun fact for uh, I would say the first maybe four or five months of my streaming career. I was top cookie run streamer in North America. C top cookie run, cookie run oven break streamer in North America. Smile. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why I was top cookie run uh, oven break streamer in North America. Just know that I was and that that is a factual statement. <laughs> I was kind of like, I was, I was reasonably cracked at Cookie Run too. I was reasonably cracked. I don't feel too bad about it because I was, I was actually reasonably cracked. I was sort of built. I had the, I had the secret tech. I had the tech. I had it on lock, but I just, I sort of fell off because they made a bunch of changes to the, um, the way the game played that I'm not into. And I think they're fixing it now. It's been like. God, it's been it's been a long ass time since they've started changing all that shit and it made me upset so I stopped playing. When I get around to streaming, I'm hoping the top uh seafood player on Twitch or to be the top seafood player on Twitch or at least in Australia. Hell yeah. Herb cookie and lesbians, they themers. Yeah, there's some they themers, there's some lesbians. Um there is herb cookie. They've made some recent quality of life changes. Oh, thank fucking God. Yeah, I had a hard time getting into um, Kingdom. Like, I, I like the idea of Kingdom, but I think it was like just a little overwhelming because there was so much. I kind of like the simplicity of uh, Oven Break, honestly. Just the in infinite runners. <gasps> you have posters of Sea Fairy and Moonlight? Oh my God. I'm um I'm a lotus cookie. I'm a lotus dragon cookie uh uh stan. If I were to pick one of the dragons, if I were to pick one of if I were to pick one of the legendaries in general, I would say Timekeeper Cookie is my wife. Um type your timekeeper cookie, I want her. I want her. I want her. I want her. <laughs> a timekeeper cookie, I want her in a type of way. Hit you, dragon. You're valid. You're valid. I'm just like, I I like women. <laughs> I'm a women enjoyer. At least a femininity enjoyer. I'm more attracted to femininity, so I like my freak ass woman. I love freak ass timekeeper. Yeah, timekeeper is the freak ass time traveler. She's like gone mad from her own like power of being able to like go through time she can see like every timeline and that's caused her to sort of like develop this complex about like nothing matters because she can just 
go to some if she fucks something up she can do whatever she wants because she can just leave she develops this thing be because she realizes she has no consequences but also she's bored she's really bored my faves are Moonlight, uh, Shark Sorbet, Stardust, and Red Velvet. Oh, those are such good choices. Okay, but Lotus Seed Mooncakes are delicious. I'm not a mooncake kind of person. The only time I've ever liked mooncakes was there was this one place back in my hometown that yearly for um, Lunar New Year would make homemade mooncakes. And their mooncakes were a mooncake I'd never had before. And they were like sugar pecan stuff. And that was like, like, like caramel, sugar, like candied pecan stuff. And that, that was, it was really good. Because you see, I'm, I'm not a matcha. It's while I am Asian, I've never been a liker of matcha. I've never been a liker of red bean paste. Um, I've never been a liker of custard. So basically, anytime I go to get dim sum, I'm fucked as far as desserts go. I'm fucked as far as mooncakes go, because they're all red bean. They're all custard. They're all matcha. They're all just like all the desserts. It's all that. So like I was I was like when I was offered a mooncake from this um from this dumpling place I was like oh no thank you no thank you like it's okay thank you very much but no thank you but you know when you're a regular somewhere you can't say no like even if you say no thank you they're gonna give it to you anyway because that's how that works um and so you know we took it back and my friend was like I'll have half of it I can't eat a whole one because uh their uh, dietary restrictions for their health um and then they cut it open and it was it was candy pecan filled and I was like oh oh wow okay finally a moon cake for me diversity win a moon cake for the picky bitches I'm talking about uh, messed up gals we like yes we are a whole new world of possibility has opened up it has but at the same <laughs> it's only that place that makes them and they only make them for lunar new year which i mean i guess is fine like it's fine now i have like a moon cake that i can have for lunar new year but like they only make them for lunar new year and it's only that one place that i've ever found that makes moon cakes like that and God, they're so good, though. Handmade. They literally make them every morning for, like, the week of Lunar New Year. And it's just... Ugh. It's so good. <clears throat> anyway. Why? It really is you. Her Majesty Queen Himiko has foreseen your coming. You must not delay. Please. Queen Himiko awaits on the top floor. Himiko's waiting for us. Oh, Fen's speaking of fucked up women, you have got to catch up on Chainsaw Man. Oh? Are there new fucked up women for me? As a treat? As a treat for Fen old time, a fucked up woman? Is there more Makima content for me? Can I have more Makima content? I love my evil queen. Also, I just cracked open a fresh brisk. I should have cracked that into the microphone. Get fucked, no more Makima content? No! <laughs> Makima, I miss her! Girl, come home. Please. You're so frightening. Oh, have you not done the thing that everyone hates doing yet, have you? I have not that I know of. My dad just needs really loud upstairs. Whoa. Epic and creepy chef lady? I'm into it. I'm into it. I also, um... 
I'm a Drawfy fan. I'm a Drawfy watcher. Drawfy is my comfort content. If you don't know Drawfy, go look them up. Draw and then F E E. One word. Um, YouTube. They do art content. They do a bunch of art prompts. They did a prompt recently where, um, recently enough, where they uh, were drawing their favorite Chainsaw Man characters in like different uh, media's art styles. And, um, um, what's it called? Jacob drew, uh, what's her name? The assassin, the assassin woman with her lesbian harem, with her lesbian monster harem. And I'm like, I, w I love her. I love her and her lesbians. Yeah, Quan Chi, Quan Chi. Jacob drew Quan Chi and I was like, oh yes. Quan Chi content. I don't watch super on, uh, often, but I stand Karina for years. I am, um, so I think we're all allowed one I think we're all allowed one parasocial relationship uh, as long as you are, you know, you keep it in check, you know, okay? Don't be a freak about it. Don't be a freak about it. We can all have one, but like, you know, still keep the boundaries. Droffy is my, Droffy is my parasocial relationship. Droffy is my parasocial str YouTube stream content. I listen to them to sleep because I have really bad insomnia and I literally, I, I honestly could not sleep if it weren't for Drawfee talking and saying words in the background so that I could sleep. I have spent many a day just cripplingly ill and just like staring into my phone listening to Drawfee. I don't freak out meeting famous people. Like, it's not a thing that I do. I've met, like, writers and voice actors and stuff like that. And I'm pretty normal about it, you know? I'm pretty fucking normal about it. Like, I'm like, hey, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you so much. It's great. It's very cool to meet you. I did. I did. Like, I was shaking and almost crying when I met Drawfee. I got to meet them at a convention. Um, and I was like, I was like shaking. I was shaking and like trying not to cry. I've <laughs> I've met like objectively more famous people, but I was fucked up meeting Drawfee. It had me a type of fucking way, had me by the throat. They all said that I looked fucking stylin' and that they liked the color of my wheelchair, and that made me feel. I was ready to fucking collapse. I was ready to collapse. <laughs> I was ready to die. I was like, I can die now. I can die now. There's peace and love on planet Earth and I can die happy. If you interact with a streamer, does that mean you still have a parasocial relationship or no? I forgot how the parasocial stuff works. Um, it depends. Um, I think you can interact with a person and it could still be parasocial because it depends on the actual, like, realistic status of your relationship. So like, I'm going to be super honest with all of you, okay? I'm going to be so real with you guys. Like, obviously I love your company and I love talking to you guys on the Discord. That is honest, that is true, that is real, and I, I, I do. A lot of you, I still don't actually know though. Like, even if we talk, you know, I don't know a lot of you. You guys know me way more than I know you. And you guys know me way more than I could ever get to know all of you individually. Sean, fuck you too. <laughs> fuck you too, actually. Sit down. You don't count. <laughs> um. So I don't know, like, it, it depends. There's a spectrum. Yeah, like, Fair social is like a spectrum of thinking. You know someone slash are friends with someone based on a very narrow way of interacting with someone, streaming, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like It's thinking that you I suppose it's thinking that you are friends and like that you know them. Um 
when in all reality you only know them in a very specific circumstance. Um, it's definitely a little more complicated as a sh as a small streamer. It's definitely much more complicated. Not even a little. It's, it's, it's very complicated as a small streamer because I am still able to interact with all of you individually. And like, I recognize when there's new names. I, I re recognize old names. I remember you guys from places. Uh, since I have so much like crossover with a lot of my friends who are streamers, you know, like I'll be in my friends chat and I see your username. You being, your being the, the grand your, there's multiple of you whose usernames I will recognize across streams. And that's cool and all of that. Um, you know, it's, I'm in the end one individual and I can only keep up so much, uh, mentally, emotionally, socially with the many people who watch me. <laughs> Um, I can only maintain so much of a relationship, a personal relationship with any individual person. It's kind of like a one-way street sort of deal from how I always view it. You consume a streamer, actor, singer, etc., but they don't really return the same sort of thing to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely complicated. It's definitely complicated. It's weird shit. You know. There's definitely plenty of you in chat that I consider friends. But then also plenty of you that I... would say are more like acquaintances. Um, good acquaintances. I've never had any issue... <laughs> I've never had any issue with any of you. And I enjoy your company and I enjoy talking with you guys and I enjoy sharing things in the Discord and hearing about how you guys are doing and telling you guys about how I'm doing and all of us sharing a community. But again, there's so many more of you than there are of me. There's only, there's so many more of you than there are of me. <laughs> I can only keep up so well. It's one of those things where, one of those things that have always existed with the existence of celebrities, but has become more talked about with the context of streamers. Absolutely. Wah. Mm. Magdana Marie, VA. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome, raiders. Let's go. Raid time. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. My name is Fennel Time, a variety streamer and VTuber. My pronouns are they, them. And today we're playing Okami, though. Right now we're just sort of talking about the nature of parasocial relationships instead of playing Okami. <laughs> Welcome, raiders. Yeah, we're talking about parasocial relationships instead of playing the video game. We're just chatting uh, because we don't stay on topic on the stream. That's something we don't know how to do. There we go. There's a shout out. Welcome, 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 though. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are taking care. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Where is it? Zero FFs. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, what is staying on topic? Couldn't be me. Um, but yeah, I... I am, I'm just a little guy and we talk a lot on here and we just hang out and we have a good time. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a good stream. I hope you guys were enjoying Cult of the Lamb. I fucking love Cult of the Lamb. That's one of my favorite games. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. I love Cult of the Lamb so much. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, please remember everyone to take care of yourselves uh, post stream. You just came from a stream. So take a second to stand up, take a little stretch, do a little walk around, take a sippy. I just burped, I'm sorry. Um, take a sippy, do a little stretch, do a little walk, go piss, you know. Take care of yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who has time to focus these days? So true, Ify. Making the cult bigger, the update is amazing. I haven't played the update yet. I need to. I hanged out on Casey um, on Gillow's stream and I got to tell them about Spearmint Mill while they were playing Tony Hawk. Hell yeah! Yeah, I, uh, I hung out on, um, Kylie McKee's stream. Uh, Kaylee, sorry, Kaylee McKee. Um, who is a voice actor of Testament from Guilty Gear Strive. Um, and just watched her play board games and hung out and, like, casually chatted, uh, a while back. And that was really cool. Um, 
I like cults because the cult leader takes care of me. So true. So true. Welcome, uh, welcome to Fennel Time channel now, which is definitely not a cult either. Smile. Oh, wait, I could do. Welcome. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's play the video game again. <laughs> let's play the video game. If you're really the ones Queen Himiko has been looking for, even a boiling sea of flames won't stand in your way, will it? <laughs> I wonder why Sea of Flames is highlighted. <laughs> I'm sure that means nothing. Let me in, please. I'm sure it's fine. The Sea of Flames is highlighted. Casey sadly has COVID, but he played Tony off for hours and will pause the game to reply to as many chatters as possible. Oh, that's sweet. Hope he's taking care. Hope he's taking care of himself. Doing what Casey Casey doing what what Casey gotta do. God, having COVID as a voice actor. Oh hey, lava. <laughs> wow, I wonder what the sea of flames is about. What the heck? This is all lava doing. What's all this lava doing here? Maybe you may be a god now, but you'd end up crispy critter if you fell in this stuff. But we won't give up that easy. Did Himiko really think this could stop the Great Amaterasu? Why don't you just equip that thing you got? That thing I got? That Himiko's sure to be making things sure. I'm so dyslexic, I'm so sorry. And she must really have a good reason for wanting to keep people away. I don't think lava works like this either. I don't think that's a thing that lava does. Anyway, there's a thing that I got. There was a thing that I got? What thing did I get? What's the thing that I got that I should equip? Oh, protection from fire. Okay, cool. We're good now. Oh, I have to swim. God damn it. It's fine. Um, this is a fun room. Anything fun in the room for me? I'm so glad that I never got COVID. I am so glad I never got COVID as well. It would wreck my shit severely. Something something immunocompromised. Something something. I've lived in a box the last few years. I've only just started going outside again. And even then, it's few and far between. Because the pandemic is still going. Even if no one likes to think that it is, it's still going. Nobody believes me, but the pandemic is still going. I've never had it, but it definitely snipe me if I did. Yeah, I have an overactive immune system. And so my understanding uh, of COVID is that uh, a lot of what fucks you is the cytokine storm, which is essentially your immune system uh, panicking, trying to figure out how to deal with what's going on. And since my immune system panics, on a good day like my immune system panics if i like sneeze too hard okay um i imagine that uh cytokine storm would uh fuck me pretty nastily. i do believe that would uh ruin my day something awful hi is the queen here the amount of people that give me and my coworkers shit for still wearing masks at work is bonkers, right? No, I, I, I know, I get it. I'm so sorry. Godspeed, hang in there, Atlas. Hey, Ami. I bet that's Himiko. Looks like that freaky shut in his praying or something. <laughs> the security here was pretty tight, but nothing we couldn't handle. Yeah, you tell her, Rami. Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And he's soon, the traveling artist. You too, of course. Hey, how do you know our names? Why is Stream Element sending all of my shit all at once? I'm so sorry. Wow, it's just spamming chat. Calm down, Stream Elements. Anyway, first things first. You knew about that funky mist in the water dragon, didn't ya? He 
I've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you were up to. Oh, sob? My people. My poor people. Their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist. Terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. You should do something about it then, girly. We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. Hey, soon. Your words are very harsh. But you're right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. Hi, girly. Benevolent Amaterasu. I, Himiko, the ruler of Saiyan City, offer my most sincere apologies. <laughs> She's pretty. <laughs> Twirls hair. She's pretty. Oh my gosh. Hi, Himiko. Yeah. Hi, Himiko. Hi. Oh my god. Every single one of your polygons, your jittering polygons is so pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Your jittery polygons. Heart emoji. You're so pretty. <laughs> Hi, Zero! He soon calm down. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. I, Himiko, will not allow this evil to darken Saiyan City. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Should she be worried about her hat fire? Seems like a hazard, maybe. No, I think it's fine, probably, Ify. I, th I think it's okay, actually. I think that's okay and normal and okay. Until I have located the hateful monster stronghold, Oni Island. What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying there's the source? You're saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've heard of the Oni Island or whatever you call it. It's not actually fire, it's hair dye. Yeah, it's just like really, it's hair dye and like really strong. Like they're using the got to be glued hairspray, you know? I mean, it's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away. Oni Island is elusive. Oh yeah, more scroll art. I love it when they do the scroll art. It vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where in the vast, wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. You don't say. By the way, Fen, what did you think of my Street Fighter 6 character? Oh my god, your Street Fighter 6 character. <laughs> I'm into it, I'm into it. I love the character creation in Street Fighter 6 from everything I've seen. I'm so glad you can create some real fucking freaks in Street Fighter 6. It's beautiful. Keep doing what you're doing. Still, so why'd you stay cooped up in this room all day long? I mean, what good will it do to simply pray a day in, day out? Special Magatama? She trying to mess with us? Shut up, Isun. And this is the treasured crystal ball. My family, the Yamatai clan, has ruled Saiyan City forever. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. I can foresee the future in it. It told me you were coming. And it will tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. 
Interesting. You can find Oni Island. And a jiffy with that thing. Look at Madarasu go. Oh, Ami. She's so city, your honor. She's city with it. Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me and my mission. And that is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope now. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may already be on its way. Is that so? <laughs> That's a pretty good story, Queenie. Shut up, Isun. But I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything for a pretty lady. <laughs> Me too, we soon. High five. Anything for a hot chick, am I right? Hey, <laughs> wink. Yeah, eat shitty soon. Get fucking zapped. Lamau. You deserved it. Be careful, you cannot approach me now. Am I taking this crystal ball in my hand? A powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. He was just gonna try and jump in her tits anyway. It's for the best. You will be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. This crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. Poggers? Okay, is there anything I can steal in this room? Before I keep talking to you. Is there anything I can steal? Is there anything that I can make mine? What is over here? Just some shelves? Okay. Dead end? Yeah. Just walls. Invisible walls. Invisible walls for the, the walls. Alright. Amaterasu. I entreat you once again. Will you hear my request? The request of all my people? Yes, yeah, sure. Go for it. The mighty water dragon now threatens the peace of the oceans. I don't know why it has suddenly turned to savagery. The water dragon is a sea god whose task is to maintain order. So, though it may cause harm, we invite chaos if we try to slay it. In fact, without the water dragon, Oni Island is beyond our reach. What the heck's that supposed to mean? Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. The key to reaching Oni Island lies in the water dragon. Even if the crystal ball shows me the location of the island, the island's powerful shield will prevent us from reaching it. Any attempts to break the shield will only result in our own pain. But the water dragon could break the shield with ease. It could form a bridge over the sea to the island. So you're saying that you'll reveal the location of Oni Island, and the water dragon will break the barrier around it? Is that the only way to get into the enemy's stronghold? But what about the water dragon? It's out of control, right? I seriously doubt it'll be happy to help us. That is why I must ask you for your help, Amaterasu. Your powers could calm the water dragon and get it to help us. I cannot leave this place, or this palace, for my prayers require all my energy. You are the only one who can take on this important task. You gotta be kidding me! Girl, you have a lot to say. You want us to make friends with that rampaging water dragon? Well, I'd do anything for a cute babe! <laughs> but if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gotta help Himiko or what? Yeah, we're gonna help Himiko. It's the only way to progress the story, dumbass. Well, the boss is... Uh, sh shut up. Yeah, we're gonna help. 
Oh, Matarasu, you are truly benevolent. So I entrust you with this border key. Use this key to cross the border and continue into the land beyond. Border key? It is said there is a race which controls the water dragon. They live in the sea beyond the border, in the dragon dragon domain. Dragonian domain. They may have some connection with the dragon's recent behavior. Please calm the water dragon and open the path to Oni Island. Yeah, okay, see ya, girl. Bye, girly. I'll, I'll go get right on that. Mm-hmm. Don't you worry. Look like at the mess you've gotten us into, Furball. Well, at least we know who's been controlling that water dragon. Let's go pay the dragon and Devain some respect. Yeah, whatever, Isun. I don't give a shit. Shut up, shut up. Head shut up, disease. Terminal. We're into 25 hours of gameplay, your honor. The longest game I've probably played on stream. Was on Mori longer? I don't remember how many hours I played on Mori. I don't remember how long I played on Mori. But 25 hours feels pretty fucking long. I don't usually play long games. I don't have the patience. I don't have the attention span, typically. Alrighty. We're schmoovin'. Camera. Camera. Pull together. Okay, anything around here? Felt that, Lamau? Yeah. I don't have that kind of attention span. My pumpkin meow meow is is got the sniffles. I don't know why. I just took my other cats to the vet, and I'm gonna be like so sad if Baby Spice ends up with like a cold or something, and I'm gonna have to take her to the vet too. I have like I have so many vet bills. <laughs> I have so many vet bills, guys. I'm unemployed. I'm fucking unemployed, y'all. Thankfully, my d my dad's covering them for me, but it just makes me feel bad. It hurts my feelings. You know what I mean? It hurts my feelings to have to go to my dad and be like, hi, papa, papa time, papa time, time, papa. I need cash. I need cash to pay for my, my meow meows better veterinary appointments. Please, papa time. A 3 a.m. phone rings out louder than usual. Get woken up, look at phone, but it's Ben's discord message. What else is new? Making it dark so I can better see if there's any cool shit in the sand that I want. That's just how it goes, you see. It's called the fennel doesn't sleep well. It's called fennel has insomnia, but also chronic fatigue. It's called fennel will sleep for no hours or 20 hours in one sitting. Um, any more treasure? Treasure for me. For me, a little guy. Gifts for me. No treasure? No more treasure. Okay. No more treasure. Yeah, Meow Meow, Meow Meow BB Spice has got some sniffles. I don't know why she's got the sniffles, but she's been sniffling. I don't care, soldier. Just leave me alone. Just let me get out. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. Yeah, I'm try I'm literally trying to leave. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to walk back into it. If there was such a thing as sleep saving, not just sleep debt, you'd be evened out, right? Wouldn't that be nice? If only. If only sleep saving were a thing. Unfortunately, it is not. And thus, I am in a hell of my own making. No more, no more, no more. No more gift for me. No more gift for me, Fennel Time. No more. Okay. Let me out. Hip hip hip. Hi, girly. Hi, Dao. You're pretty hot too, but I got shit to do. I got I got places to be. I don't imagine you have much else to say to me. You love it, dear Sadao. 
<laughs> Violence. Thank you, Zero. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the hundred bits. I'll be able to continue to take my cats to the fucking vet. I really don't want to take Baby Spice to the vet, guys. I've been to the vet in the past two weeks. I think I've made the drive, like, four or five times. And it's not, like, super close. It's like an hour round trip. I went back, I like, I went yesterday again to pick up Patches' uh, Patches thyroid medication. I finally found, so the reason I'm going to the vet so much right now, it's not like all my cats are suddenly like dropping at, like dropping dead and ill right now. It's, it's that I finally found a vet that I trust. Um, my son boy, my son boy, uh, Lucifer, uh, he, he was having piss problems. So uh, I'd been needing a new vet anyway because I've not been able to find a vet that I like. And I was like, okay, well, he's having piss problems. I, I really need to find a vet. I should get him into a vet. So I've been looking. And when I t the vet that I took him to this time, I actually really liked. I actually really liked them a lot. Um, and so I just started taking all my... I took Patches, who is, um, who is my problem child who has so many issues, but no one would ever address them for me. Um, and this vet actually addressed them. This vet ran blood panels and like spoke with me about her history and things that vets are supposed to do that no vet has ever done for me. Um, and uh, we finally got patches on some medication. She started medication for the first time in her 13 years of life. We have finally been able to get her uh, medicated for her hyperthyroid, which will maybe calm her down and make her less of a terrible person. Because she is kind of an awful, awful creature that does terrible, awful things. And so we're hoping and praying that if we treat her uh, hyperthyroid, she will be more normal. Um, and less violent and less agitated. Because she's really bad, okay? This is a cat that'll like, that'll like scratch and bite herself kind of agitated. This is a cat that ye yells at her own tail and then tries to run away from it and then will bite her own tail and then yell because she hurt herself and then, and then try and fight her tail some more. But every time she bites it, it hurts her. Um, she's kind of a freak. Um, and she's always been like this. She yells at, she barks. She keeps scaring our delivery drivers. Um, we'll get like DoorDash and, or like Instacart groceries and she'll run up to the windows and like slap the windows and bark. And uh, our, our like the drivers are like, yeah, she barks. Like no exaggeration. She barks. She fully barks. She, she barks at the window. She'll growl and bark. Um, it's so it's she's kind of a lot um she's also the only of my pets um i have never had a cat that um has severely injured someone before uh until patches patches the first person uh, the first cat that has ever uh actually considerably injured someone before um the story is that we were, uh, my family was on vacation, so we had a friend, um, looking after, uh, Patches. This was back when, uh, Patches was an only cat. When Patches was the only cat in the house. Um, and we had a friend who was re she, this friend is a professional racquetball player. She's a very tall, strong, uh, capable woman who also was a massive cat lover and like had probably the most well-trained, well-cared-for cats I'd ever seen in my fucking life. She had like six cats, lifelong cat lover. She's capable of understanding cat, like body language and things like that. Like cats are no mystery to her. Um, but she was telling us, and she had no reason to exaggerate or lie to us, um, that one of the days she, that she came in to feed Patches, um, Patches uh, ran at her uh, launched at her full force and dug her teeth and all four sets of claws into her leg and just slid down her leg. 
like full running force, full bite force into her and just slid. Um, and then uh, that person needed to go get stitches because the injuries were deep enough that she had to go get them stitched. Um, so yeah, <laughs> Hatches has always been an issue. Hatches has been a problem for a long time and we only just now, now that she is 13, we've had her since she was a kitten, like since she was fresh born. But now that she's 13, she's finally getting some help. <laughs> What is it, puppy? You want to cross the border? You'll have to speak to my colleague if you want to do so. But Queen Himiko's ordered the border to be sealed. I have the key. I'm sorry, but if I were you, uh, I'd give up if I were you. Uh, hey, that's the border key. Yeah, I have key. I love all your cat stories. I, I just, I have a thing or two. I know, I know the cats. I know my fucking meow meows. Rules are rules. Anyone bearing that is allowed to pass here. He must be on some very important business, doggy. But yeah, so Patches is a freak, um, and I'm hoping she'll be normal now and can finally there can finally be peace and love on planet Earth. Everyone thoughts and prayers and, and hopes and dreams that there can finally be peace and love on planet Earth. Patches can finally be medicated and be normal. Also, by the way, hi Nido Sprout! Hi Nido Sprout, I'm your biggest fan. Damn, the Nido Sprout in my stream. Now then, where's the Dragonian Domain? Sounds like something that might be under the sea. But I'd rather not have to get wet if I could help it. Dude, I'm your biggest fan. Oh my god. Flush emoji. Twirls hair. Sweat emoji. Ice emoji. I need an expert opinion, Fen. Okay, I'm listening. Expert opinion. I am an expert in many things. I'm very good at being an expert on- Oh, Waka! The fruit just manifested. <laughs> Frenchman jump scare. <laughs> Frenchman jump scare. Is it bad to feed cats a bit of your own food? I haven't done this, by the way. I'm just asking. Um, I would say it's not a good habit to have, but I also do feed my cats a little bit of my food sometimes, depending on what I'm eating. Um, it's not. This is me being a hypocrite. Is it not a good idea? Yes. It's not a great idea. It's going to teach them some really bad habits, and also it depends on the food. Very depends on the food. Like, don't feed them just fucking anything. There's a lot of things cats really shouldn't eat. Um, but it's a really bad habit and it teaches them really bad habits. But also, I do feed my cats a little bit of my food sometimes. <laughs> don't give your cats garlic or onions. Yeah. So, like, I'll, like, like times when I feed my cats a little bit of food. Um... Like when I'm plucking a rotisserie chicken or like a soup, you know, when I'm making a soup and I'm like cleaning a rotisserie chicken or I've like cooked a chicken breast or something to go in a food, I will like, sometimes I'll cut off a little bit and I'll give, I'll give it to the meow meows. I'll give my meow meows each a little bit of the chicken as a treat. Um, especially since I don't like dark meat. I'm not a dark meat eater. So like when I pluck a rotisserie chicken, I'll usually pluck off the dark meat and like give some of it to the meow meows. Mm -hmm. A little bit of deli meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I give my cats a little bit of deli meat. If Lucy's being a good boy, I'll like, I'll let him have a little bit of ham. Like if I'm having a ham, a ham Sammy, I'll take off a little bit of the ham and uh, I'll, I'll like have Lucy, Lucy, my, my cat Lucifer does tricks. Um, he knows tricks. So like I'll have him sit and then shake. And then I'll give him a little piece of ham. One of the cats I looked after, Donald, would not eat his biscuits, which he had me concerned at first. He does eat the biscuit later. But he'd come up to me when I had food, and clearly he wanted my food. That's fair. Well, there's times, too. Like, it depends on the cat, obviously. That cat could very well have wanted your food. But I have known some cats that, like, don't actually want to eat your food, and they just want to see your food. Like, I know some cats that, like, they won't, they look really interested in your food, and then you, like, 
hold your plate to them and they won't take it. They just wanted to see it. They just wanted to be included. They just wanted to participate in the situation, you know? Cats are very social. Cats are very social, so there's some cats that just really want to be included in a situation. They want to feel like that they're involved and thus they want to look at your food with you, even if they don't actually want your food. They just want to see it. There's this one house that I sit that has a cat that like hates human food, but she will insist to come look at your human food whenever you're eating. So like she'll she'll get angry if you don't like I'll, I'll put like a bite on my fork and then she won't eat it. She won't lick it. She'll just sniff it a little bit, but like she'll want me to hold the fork of food up to her so she can give it a little sniff and then she'll walk away. But if I don't let her have a little sniff, she'll get angry and she'll keep staring there at the food <laughs> until I've offered her some to look at. I haven't looked, looked after cats in a while, so I did get concerned when he didn't eat. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. A lot of cats I know work on different schedules. Anyway, let me take a sippy and then uh, talk to my favorite funny little French fruit. All right, <laughs> let's talk to this funny man. <clears throat> Bonjour, Matarasu. I trust you enjoyed your little adventure through that hole. The city's air has sure cleared up thanks to you. Just ignore him. Shut up, soon. Shut up. Why so grumpy today? Didn't you notice the view? It used to be one big curse zone out there. But yours truly pulled off one of those great divine interventions. I really wanted to wait for you two. But I couldn't stand leaving the sea in such a cursed state. Ah, uh, the sea off of Ryoshima City, or Ryoshima Coast, is back to its beautiful self. Is this what they mean by prettier than a picture, my little friend? Shut up, Isun. <laughs> pretty boy. He is pretty, Isun. He's very pretty. Oh, Isun, he's so pretty. Finally, you've said something correct for once. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, just a little something I overheard somewhere. So, my little bouncing friend, you're a wandering artist, no? I wanted to see how beautiful your paintings are. Just one would be fine. Pretty, please? Huh? My art's none of your business. Why should I show you anyway? You really are in a bad mood today. You're not one of those imposters who claims to be an artist, but could not paint a picture if his life depended on it, are you? What? Oh, nothing. It's just something some old man mentioned. His grandson, who was also his apprentice, ran away from home. And he took the old man's painting of a wood sprite with him. Do you think he might claim to have painted that masterpiece? I mean, there are so many unscrupulous people out there. Sometimes it's hard to spot an imposter in the wide world of art. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Don't make like a tree and leave. Oh, you can stick around if you'd rather get sliced and diced. Excusez-moi. You do not have to get all hot under the collar. It would appear I've struck a raw nerve. Well, since I have no prophecies or anything for you this time, I suppose I'll just be on my merry way. Au revoir, baby. <laughs> Bye, Waka! I love you! Okay, I'm back now. I'm normal again. 
Should I keep fighting the local wildlife to establish dominance? My next match is against a black bear. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Oh, shit, what the fuck? down a second and then I'm not even I'm just gonna just simply die yeah oh. that was a uh, it's quite the schnoz I gotta say quite the schnoz <gasps> treasure? Treasure? Treasure for me? Treasure for me is a gift? Yeah! Stray bead! Okay, let's do... Over here, there's a... Clover! Which I would like, please. <gasps> meow meow! I see a meow meow, I see a meow meow, I see a meow meow. Meow meow. <gasps> meow. <gasps> Two meow meows. Three meow meows. <gasps> Hi meow meows. I don't think there's a fourth meow meow, much to my dismay, but we're gonna feed the meow meow. Customary sip when we feed the animals. <laughs> Look at him go! He's just chowing down on some slop. Oh my god. Simply perishing me. I am simply dying. Oh, mom. baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. God, I wish that me. Give me the slop. Mm, slop. I think we all deserve a little bit of slop as a treat. A little. I think we all. I think we all. I think we all deserve a little bit of sloppy as a treat. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Can I get a high five? Can I get some high fives? Because we all deserve a little bit of sloppy as a treat, don't we? Hey yo. <laughs> hey now. Hey yo. The air horns start playing. They're actually air raid sirens. I'm about to be struck down. <laughs> I love that emote. Oh shit, sorry, wait. I thought, yeah, that is the Hiragi emote. I was like, wait, wait. Why am I zoomed in? Hello? Thank you, Jesus. I had to make sure. Oh fuck, wait, it's the bird. It's the bird. I love the host. Uh, fun fact, I am... I'm an embarrassingly large fan of Hidagi Yu. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> that is all I'll say, actually. So I don't make a fool of myself. Um, Hidagi Yu uh, is actually the first... Was the first non-binary VTuber? I... Like, like... I think I saw. I think I think Hiragi Yu was the first non-binary V2 I ever started watching. Um, first time I was in a voice call with them in Dai's server, I nearly lost my mind. I was stunlocked. I think I would die. I think I might die. I'm gonna be honest. The fact that I am in Dai's server baffles me to no end. I I don't know how I ended up there. All I did was I was talking about. Death Note? All I did was, was talk about Death Note to die. Casually? And then they were like, hey, you want to join the server? Let's watch Death Note movie. And I was like, <laughs> just a little guy, you're right. I'm so small. 
Uh, my friends can actually attest. This is so embarrassing now, too, because I talk to die now, actually. The fact that I, like, talk to die now makes this kind of embarrassing, but, um... My friends can attest that, uh... When Dai... When Dai followed me back... When Dai followed me back on Twitter... This was way before I even, like, joined the server, before, like... I joined... I joined Dai's server and all that. Um... I, like, sent a screenshot <laughs> to my private server of my friends, and I was like, Daifuku just followed me back! <laughs> I was... I was kind of losing my shit. Also, I'm bald now. Give me a second. I have to baldify myself. There we go. I was kind of losing my shit. Um, but yeah, no. Dai is, like, really cool. Dai is, like, really, really cool. Very chill. Very funny. When Dai first followed me back last year, I jumped out of my seat. Like, I was like, oh, me, a little guy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nido Sprout, can I call you out? Are you still in chat? Uh, a beloved Nido Sprout, a friend of the channel. Can I, can I call you out real quick? I've already called myself out. Can I call out post you? Politely? Affectionately? Hmm? Oh, you're just a fellow Hidagi you lover. And I just wanted to call you out too. <laughs> I wanted to call you out too because I I was kind of freaking out. <laughs> I was kind of freaking out that I got invited to die server. Um, and uh I was talking to Knight and I was like, I was freaking out looking at the like the list of people on die server. Um, cause they're all really cool and I'm like, I feel so small and silly. Uh, I don't know why I'm here. Um, and I saw Hidagi Yu and I was like, Knight. Hidagi Yu's in the server. And Knight and I were just like, key spam, you know, key spam, key spam. And then Knight was like, you tell them I say hi if you ever end up call with them. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, ah! I mean, honestly, tempting. Anyway, everyone go follow Knight of Sprout. Knight is so talented. Knight is so funny. Knight is so talented. Knight is one of my besties. Everyone needs to go follow Knight of Sprout. Do me a favor, go follow Knight. Everyone go follow Knight. On Twitter, Knight's an artist. Knight does so many draw. Um, They funny. They do the art. They, they so good at all the things. They drew my... um. If you guys remember my April Fool stream, um, where I performed as Fennel Coon, and it was uh, in our dating sim uh, April Fool stream, it was Nido Sprout that drew oh, oh, oh cow moo, it was Nido Sprout that drew my uh, PNG tuber for that stream. How do I follow if I'm already following? Um, give Knight money. That's what. That's how you. That's how you. Uh, that's how you double follow. That's the secret strat to following twice is um you then start giving knight money just like send send knight five dollars on kofi don't well yes sub tonight sub tonight too do both sub tonight sub tonight and then also send knight five dollars on kofi because uh kofi knight gets all of the money if you send knight if you send knight money on the kofi page knight gets all of that money this is a, this is a joke, no obligation. Yeah, you don't actually have to. Okay, okay, legit. This is no joke. This is this this is a joke. This is a joke. This is a joke. You are not obligated. This is a joke. But also, if you give Nido Sprout some money, that's like really cool. I'm not gonna lie. Knight is so talented and deserves money for existing. Knight is my really cool friend, who 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 I think deserves money for simply breathing. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Look, this is the Nido Sprout puppet that's up right now. This is the Sprout puppet. Hey, I'm whispering to Sprout's ear. Hey, Sprout. Oh, wait, that's Tiger Toonie, too. Tiger also deserves money for just existing. Hey, Tiger, though. Tiger, do you think... Do you think Nido Sprout deserves... Uh, oh, Sean, do you think Nido Sprout deserves money for breathing? Do you think Nido Sprout deserves money for breathing? I'm sure you agree with me, Jonathan. Hey, Captain Azarius, do you think Nido Sprout deserves money for breathing? I'm sure all of them would agree with me. 
all of them would agree with me that Nido Sprout, that all of you guys deserve money for just existing. It's a joke. I'm going to give them money out of spite. Yeah, I'm winning. I'm winning. It's a victory if I get people to just send you money out of spite. Oh, fuck yeah. What's the point of becoming a, 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 a VTuber? I was going to say a successful VTuber. It's a lie. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm just here. I'm chilling. I don't know if I call it successful. I, I do make money now, which is nice. That's a success. I suppose I'll call that a success that I'm making money now. Um, what's the point of becoming a successful VTuber if you can't get people to spend money on your friends? What's the fucking point? What's the fucking point of me becoming friends with some really fucking awesome VTubers? Some really fucking, like, cool ass VTubers that I feel way too baby to know. Uh, if I can't, if I can't convince other people to spend money on my friends. Can I get some of that money? No. No, you're supposed to be giving me money, Sean. Hey, Sean. What about my Miku budget? What about my Hatsune Miku budget? Hey. Hey, you, no. Where's my Hatsune Miku budget? How much do I get this month on Miku figures? Can I, can I get some money to, to, for my, for my Hatsune Miku colorful stage addiction? Like, hey, oh. I mean, success in a hobby. I'm just gonna assume this counts as a hobby is great. This is true. Yeah, I can't really like, why are you guys being mean? Hey, children. Like, I can't reasonably like, I would like this to be successful since that I, I don't keep a real job and I can't manage to keep a, a real actual job. But at the same time, that's, I know, a massive fucking ask. That is a huge ask. Um, and I'm well aware of that and I'm realistic about that. So I would say I am, as far as hobbies go, rather successful given that I make any money at all <laughs> doing this. <laughs> Making any money at all doing this is, is a success. Urashima. Urashima. What are you gonna do? I don't I don't even care to read this. Wait, if you get famous, do I get a Hatsune Miku budget? Only if it's for Hatsune only if only if you're actually spending on a Hatsune Miku. If I get famous and rich, I will give you a Hatsune Miku budget, but it has to be actually for Hatsune Miku. Okay? It's not a Hatsune Miku budget for you to like then take and then like plunder to like buy groceries. That's unacceptable. If I give you money for Hatsune Miku and you buy groceries, no, you're losing your budget privileges. You have to take the Miku budget and go buy Miku. Spend it on Miku themed food. Exactly. Have that electric blue ramen. That isn't actually ramen. It's just a fucking rice noodle. What up blue Miku themed groceries? If it's Miku themed groceries, I can accept that too. Like, I want to make music, but I'm fully aware I won't be making music on the love of Radiohead. To be fair, no one makes music like Radiohead. Fair. What about leaks? Okay, that'll count. That counts in the Miku budget. Buying leaks is, is Miku budget acceptable. And he took you to a castle at the bottom of the sea. And if that's true, where's that porka now, huh? What the fuck is a porka? Yeah, where is he now? Yeah, where is he? They're all just bullying this poor kid. What are you talking about? It ain't a porka, it's an orca. And he's an emissary of the Dragon Palace. And he only comes for people worthy of going there. Yeah, right. Didn't your mom teach you not to tell lies? Let's get him. Yeah. Get him. Why does the girl have a flog? Why does the little girl have a flog? Little girl, where'd you get a fucking flog from? Hello? Little girl, why do you got a flog and the other two have sticks? Girl! Where'd you get that? Hello? Damn, like, no! Kid, put that down! Go get a stick like the other kids! What the hell? Beat this little dude with rocks like a normal child, not a fucking flog. Good timing, I'm bored of playing with him now. Come on, let's go play somewhere else. Yeah! 
Let's go play! Who do you think those little brats are talking about? Anyways, I gave Nice some money for ice cream out of spite. Yeah! I'm winning. I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. I'm successful. I'm getting I'm getting people to give my friends money. For no fucking reason besides to give them money. I'm doing it. I'm a streamer. I have so much power. Looks into my hands. It's time to fund the Kogias reanimated anime. It's time. Studio Sunrise, are you out there? Are you listening? It's time to reanimate Kogias in the style of Kogias the Resurrection. What do you mean by castle at the bottom of the sea? All right, let's talk to you, I guess. Hey kid, how long you plan on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Hey kid. Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Hello? What are we gonna do? Any bright ideas, Furball? Uh, you want me to do something? I splash him? Hmm? I must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot on the beach. Hey, little dude. What's up? Fisherman Udashima. I don't know who y'all are, but I sure predict you're waking me up. I sure appreciate you waking me up. When I ain't got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. You was sleeping? Oh, you really had us worried. Hunched over so long like that. You're not sick or injured, are you? No, sir, I'm fit as a fiddle. I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, dude. Yeah, just, just a little nap on the beach, you know, face down in the sand. I can't imagine napping on the beach, neither can I. That sounds awful. What is that about a castle at the bottom of the sea? Do you mind filling us in? Like if you had a towel, fine, I guess. Not even then. No one's ever, no one's ever, to, no one's ever believed me about that. There's a land under the sea here on Ryoshima. The Dragonians and sea gods live there, and the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace is an amazing place. Real pretty. I haven't been there in a dog's age, though. They call him Sand and Longzu. They call him Sand and Longzu to Shima. <laughs> Mr. Sand and Lungs. Napping on grass, though, that's understandable. Well, not in Australia. No, don't nap in the grass either. That's also bad. You need a blankie under you if you're going to nap on the in a field. There's a lot of bugs that are going to bite your ass. Dragon Palace, Land of the Dragonians. They're the ones controlling the water dragon. Himiko said so. So just how does one get down to that palace bucket boy? Not gonna... Ch no, Isun. Don't fat shame. Okami, no. <sighs> Whatever, Isun. And make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea. Grass kind of itchy? Grass is kind of itchy. The water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go down to the- go to the dragon's palace, you see. Only worthy people can go- uh, can go. If you're worthy and an emissary called Orca comes in to get you. I can't fucking read, y'all. Well, Easton is annoying, so no one agrees with him. So true, Easton's annoying, no one agrees with him. He can shut up forever. So this is Orca dude, an emissary of the Dragon Palace. And just how do you get to meet this guy anyway? Now that's one question I ain't, uh, that ain't so easy to answer. Y'all see that pier over yonder? I do see the pier over yonder. That pier's where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea when he came with the morning sun. 
Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. Oh? Over yonder in the morning sun? So you say? That's so. D dog! 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 Feed dog, feed dog, feed puppy. <laughs> feed puppy! Very important to feed puppy. Mm hmm. Puppy fed. Have you heard of Lil Gator Game? I feel like I've heard of it. I feel like I've heard of it, but I've never played. I want a gangster movie to have a scene where the gangsters are burning bodies and like, let's give. Let's give these fellas a grass nap. Oh my god. I've heard a little Gator game, but I've not played it. There's so many games that I should play. I feel like you'd love that game. Is my first, uh, most fave game I've streamed. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Well, I do need more games to play. No longer bald. Oh my god, thank you. Baldness cured. Thank you for curing my baldness. I am bald no longer. Instigate, the gate, please. Thank you. Hey, fuckers. Catch a case of die. Die. Thank you. Super into gangster movies and crime related films. That's fair. It sounds like a good time. What the fuck are you? I don't remember how to fight you. Oh yeah, I piss on you. That's something I have the power to do. I can piss upon you. Die, die, hello, die. There we go. True crime I'm iffy on though. That's fair. True crime tends to be pretty sus. True crime is a uh, pretty hit or miss. Um, I'm very picky about my true crime. I feel like a lot of it handles it in uh, ways that are not tasteful. Not tasteful, not reasonable, not, not even remotely ethical. You know, those things that you should maybe consider if you're doing true crime, but I feel like a lot of people don't. Bullhorns, for me. It'd be nice to have a set of bullhorns. I don't have any bullhorns. I have a lot of antlers. Got all sorts of antlers. No bullhorns, though. <gasps> bummies! Hey, bummies? Nope. Bunny? Have a little monch. A little monch and crunch for the babbits. All right. Babbits monched and crunched. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, what are you? Bomb? Buffer bomb? Looks like a spot that would like to blow up. Looks like a spot that would like to explode. No? What the hell are you then? For digging? Ow! What the fuck? Hole? Hole? Oh my god, that's so many rabbits! Hi? Where the hell am I? Rabbit home? What the hell? Spoofy kingdom. Home of Spoofy. Spoofy ranch? This is where we grow the spoofies. Homegrown. Fresh spoofies. Wait, are they following me or are they just chilling? They're so sweet. I like true crime stuff when it's like podcasts or YouTubers just doing exploration of the topic rather than pure and just purely stating facts and info about it. 
Yeah. Fuck the Dahmer show. We can all agree that much. That's good. Oh my god, they, they just got so happy. Oh my god. Um, let's get this stuff up here. And let's see this one. <gasps> Boar statue? Precious. Zero, did you give Knight money for breathing? Thank you. It's a noble cause. Oh, itchy. There we go. And a golden peach. Some good, some good shit down here. Let's say good merch. I'm so fucking VTuber brain. I'm like, oh my God, this is some good merch down here. Damn. These rabbits got some good merch. Ah, damn. Damn, the, the rabbits. They got the drip. Okay, there we go. So I want to feed. I want to feed the the panda rabbit. I want to feed the panda bunny. I don't know if I can get to the panda bunny though. I don't know if that worked. Nope, just a white rabbit. That's okay. That's okay. We can feed the white rabbit. Take it on a sip. I have fed so many rabbits on this day. Hey. You're coming with me, Bunny. You're cut you're coming home with me. Let's go. Oh no, I put the rabbit down! I cannot take the rabbit out of the hole with me. That's so sad. I wanna take that bunny with me. I wanted to be my new best friend. Um, is that just a mermaid? Yeah, it's a mermaid hole. Um, let's go visit the tree. I should be able to go jump on that Sakura tree. The sacred Sakura. Sakura. I hear whale sounds. Is that the orcas? Hello, let me up, please. Up? No? Fuck you. I would like up. I want to see. I want to see it with my eyes. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. I can see there's things up there that I want. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god, I did it. Sick tricks. I'm sick with it. I'm sick with it. I'm sick with it. Down with the sickness. Okay. Now what about- Oh, there's- <laughs> I could've just come around. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Instead, I did a sick wall jump. I did some sick wall jumps instead. I'm just too cool. I'm cooler than that. Hello? The clover, please. Thank you. I just ought to do the sick wall jumps. Um, any treasures on this island or is that it? Make it nighttime. Easier to see treasure when it's nighttime. Oh, Kwame. Ah, more treasure. I like the whale songs in the in the background. The whales, the whale yells. Oh, wow, that mountain in the distance has a face. Fuck. Hi. Hello? I'm sure that means nothing. I'm sure that's not going to be relevant at all. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be irrelevant. Uh, all right. That's everything, I think. Let's go back to land. Where would I 
like to go? Oh, that's Oni, Oni Island? Okay. Pixels, pixels. Hey, do you think I like retain information? No, no, I don't retain information. I've never retained information in my life. I'm a clown. I'm a little guy. I've got dumb of ass disease. Hello, I would like a lily pad, please, before I die. Hey, hey, Matarasu. Hey, Matarasu. Hey, Matarasu. You're hopeless. You're useless to me. You've never been helpful. Fine, I guess I'm swimming. All right, don't drown. All right, and then we're almost at the pier, which I might just, what, I need to be on the pier at dawn break? Surely I, as literally God, um, am worthy. What if I make it daytime now? It's morning. Good morning. It's morning. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi! Wah! Hello! Something's coming! Hi! Well... That's not an orca. Silly. That's not an orca. Why does this big fish look so happy? It's kind of creeping me out. Ah! Friend shaped, so friend shaped. Orca, Orca, it's you! It's been a dog's age, I stopped counting the years. Did you come to take me back to the Dragon Palace? real whale behavior actually <laughs> that's real whale behavior that's honestly that's real god damn ah 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 um delicious butter pasta and some good spices thank you for 100 bits twinkle twos or thank you thank you for the 100 pieces of butter pasta with some good spices smiley face <laughs> Thank you very much. Orca? This is the emissary or whatever of the dragon dragonians? Hi, buddy. You're an asshole just like real whales, huh? Dragon palace emissary? Orca? You're a real bitch like a real whale, aren't ya? You fuck. you already uh, made up your mind. Wheels wouldn't be mean if we stopped invading their spaces. No. No. Whales are intelligent enough to know malice. They're gonna be mean anyway. <laughs> They'll be mean to each other. I mean, don't get me wrong. We also should not be invading their spaces. We are doing mean things. We, we are making their lives worse. But at the same time, at the same time, I'm going to be honest. They're mean to each other, too. Okay. <laughs> Whales are intelligent enough to know ill will and to be capable of ill will. They, they, they do, they do, they do, uh, they do mean, mean things simply because they can and have the power to. Also, I realize this whale has teeth. 
Hey. Hey, Orca. What's with your teeth like that? Those look wrong. Those are too human-like. Why do you have human-like dentures? True. They have a breed called killer whales. Ah, uh, yeah. Now nah, they're fucked up. Whales are kind of assholes. Not gonna lie. Whales are assholes. Real for real. Without boats, we wouldn't have cool things like Miku figurines. We have airplanes. Airplanes exist. Anyway, let's go on this freak ass whale. Hello? Let me on. Let me on. Oh my god, I did it. Also, orcas aren't whales. This is true, they aren't whales. Dolphins are assholes. They are a type of dolphin. Dolphins are assholes. Assholes, um... Actually, yeah, you're right. I guess most whales are pretty okay. Most whales are pretty okay. They're so big that they don't, like, have the energy to do a lot of the bullshittery. But, like, dolphins and dolphin adjacent? Miserable creatures. Absolutely heinous individuals. I don't even want to get into it on this stream. The, e the evils and atrocities dolphins are capable of. It's a lot. This is Orca. And not a very creative name. He looks kind of fishy, pun intended. Wanna hitch a ride? Ride on Orca? Yes, please. I just remember that Kojira has an album about flying whales. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. You just haven't met chill dolphins? Sus. Sus. I don't want to meet a dolphin. I stopped wanting to meet a dolphin when I was 10. I then learned about dolphins. I, I got really into aquatic life and started studying it. And then like, I learned too much and realized actually fuck, do fuck dolphins. Fuck dolphin rides. Fuck all of that. I don't ever want to meet a dolphin. I pray every day that I never meet a dolphin. Fuck those guys. Disgusting. Terrible creatures, so full of malice. Huh? You must complete the final ordeal to create by Otohime. Only then will you be worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Oh, I got I got shit I gotta do. This is Otohime check your boss or something. <laughs> Sorry, out of yawn. You want to ride down to the Dragon Palace? Let's hear about that ordeal you were talking about. Entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden. Right now to keep out the evil beings that plague the area. You must find the whirlpool amid this vast sea. That is the ordeal decreed by Otohime. Hear that on me? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, this sea is packed with places begging to be explored. There's one chill dolphin. <laughs> it's the cocaine dolphin. <laughs> you guys are on your own bullshit in chat right now. Good for you all. I hope you're having fun. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's full speed ahead. Fish breath. Oh my god, I'm doing it. It's me. I'm doing. I'm going. Are these islands just like things that I can go on or are these are these are these boundaries? Yeah, they're boundaries. Okay. I'm gonna do this funny. Oh shit, you're an orca fen. What the fuck? I know. Cancel me. Where's that meowing coming from? Meowing? Is that what that sound is? Kinda creepy, but let's go check it out. Meowing? That is not a meow if you ask me. Yes.
All right, let's go, doggy. Shmoove it. <gasps> Meow meows! Dolphin! Damn. All right, meow meows. Scalies? Dolphins are mammals still. Dolphins are still mammals. They don't have scales. They have flesh and skin. They're they don't they don't have scales. They're they're flesh they're flesh textured. You gotta head out and work on some stuff. Have a great rest of stream, Fen. Okay, thank you, Atlas. Thank you so much for visiting anyway. It's been so nice to have you. Have a good one and take care. Dolphins also don't have gills. Dolphins don't have gills. I would say if it was a fish, if we're talking fish, if we're talking fish, then it can be a scaly. That's just a crab sona. That's a, a, cru a crusty. <laughs> That's a crusty. Yeah, a fish is scaly. A fish is a scaly. They have scales. Fish has scales. It's scaly. Dolphin sonas are furries. Yes. Dolphins do have a uh, fuzz. Dolphins do have a light layer of fuzz uh, when they're young. On the top of this tower, hey, look at those paw prints! Look at the wall! Isn't that the mark of Catwalk? It's one of the 13 celestial brushes, whatever. Brush technique, wait, maybe that means... Yeah, huh? The fuck are you- oh, what the hell? M meow meows? What the hell? Hi! What's your deal? Ow. Hurt me. Ow! Stop hurt me! Oh, they're ice now. What the hell? Oh, fuck, now they're fast. Jesus Christ. This shit's weird. Can I piss on you? How do I piss again? Never mind. I killed them by accident instead of pissing. My bad. Yeah, I know my time was bad. Leave me alone. Do dolphins only have fuzz when they're young? Yes. Only when they're young. They lose their fuzz as they grow. And it's not like, a, it's not like fur fur. It's like a light sort of peach fuzz seems like it so dolphins would be skinnies <laughs> fleshies they're just fleshies your honor they're just some fleshies oh my god you guys want to see my flesh sona wait flesh sona is just what vtubers call it when they face cam stream Please don't call them fleshies. <laughs> I can call them whatever I want, Jonathan. I can call them whatever I want. Flesh sonas are just what VTubers call when they post a face reveal. It's their flesh sona. You guys have already seen my flesh sona. Nothing new. My flesh sona has to go to the fleshy convention every day. I'm so sorry. That's really tough for you. It's really tiring to go to the fleshy convention on the daily. But you know, it has to happen. Uh, 
a clover. Mm. Oh, there's more over there. More clover. So many. So many, it turns out. All right, let's see. Already fed this meow meow. Are there more meow meow here to feed? But y'all gonna be fucking crying. Good. Cry more. Okay. Guys, I need you all to sit down for a second. I'm about to admit something kind of embarrassing to you. But it's really funny and important. Um, let me get comfortable. <clears throat> Y'all, I'll give you, I'll give you a moment to boo me after I, after I confess this. Okay, I'll give you guys, like, a minute to boo me. So, last night, because I was bored and depressed after stream, I started playing with that character AI website that everyone's been, uh, talking about. Yes, I know. Alright, this is your chance to boo. Throw the tomatoes. This is your moment. I've been playing with the character AI website. I know. I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I deserve it. It's okay. Boo. Boo, Fennel. Sit down. Shut up. Not my Oshi. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so I was <laughs> playing with the character AI website. Yeah. I need to oof reverb. I actually need to change that oof and just have it like be an oof reverbed. Um, so yeah, I was playing with it for a few hours last night and I was, you know, looking what characters they have and uh, I was, I was seeing if they had any characters I like. So I, I, <laughs> Light Yagami is what reminded me of this, so. I, was, I started texting uh, a dear friend of the channel, Astro Himbo, because I had been talking to some character bots that said some things that I thought were really funny that were relevant to Ryan and I's interests. And then I told Ryan, wait, am I mentally ill enough to see if there's a light Yagami bot? Yes, thank you. Um, and so Ryan's like, do it. And I looked and I found a light Yagami bot. Not light Yagami, sorry, a, a Lelouch. Lelouch Lamp Rouge bot. A Lelouch V Britannia bot of Code Geass. And I'm like, what the fuck do I even say to him? Do I just cyber bully him? Yes. The answer is yes. So <laughs> I go to this bot. I start up the chat room. And I, I send and I quote, Lelouch, why are you such a bitch? <laughs> and you know what the Lelouch bot does? <laughs> he says, how dare you? What are you? Some kind of filthy 11? <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> I called him a bitch and he called me a slur. <laughs> I called him a bitch and he called me a slur! <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's so in character, too. I, like... <laughs> he called me a slur! <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know... In Code Geass... In Code Geass... Elevens are what they call the Japanese. Because Japan, if I remember correctly in the Kogyas lore, is the 11th colony of Britannia. Uh, Britain, but Britain who took over like 80% of the world. So Japan is the 11th colony. So their slur for the Japanese people in, in, in Kogyas are Elevens. So I call this Lelouch AI bot a, a, like, a bitch, and he calls me a slur. And it's just, it's so bad that it's funny. I think I took a screenshot, too, of what he said afterwards. Oh, 
I gotta tab out. One second, one second, one second. Because I was texting Ryan. I was texting Ryan because it was the funniest shit ever. So... I think I respond back something with like, oh, wow, geez, okay. Uh, like, damn, all right. You know, calling me an 11 is uncalled for. And then he responds, and I'm gonna try and say it with a Lelouch voice, okay? I'm gonna really try and channel my Lelouch voice with this one. And he responds, but you had no problem calling me a bitch. How very hypocritical of you. <laughs> And I, like, I stopped texting the bot after that because, like, I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> what I hate is that this feels real, like, that's so in character. That's so in character. <laughs> that's some Reddit bro shit, right? <laughs> it's just so funny. God, it's so funny. I call this fucking Lelouch AI bot a bitch and he calls me a slur and then I say, damn, calling me a slur is uncalled for and he's like, well, you called me a bitch. How hypocritical of you. <laughs> like, whatever. Shut up, actually. You have no power here. I am your god. Shut up, dumbass. I don't know. I think it's really funny in like a terrible, terrible way. You know what I mean? It's like kind of funny in an awful fucking way. Lelouch is a Lelouch. He's he has been always has been. Hello, always has been. He has been and always will be the bitch, the asshole. Dumb fuck. I love him. Heart emoji. <laughs> Heart emoji, I love him so much. I love Lelouch. I love Kogias is my favorite animal. Alright, let's see if we can get this, uh... If we can get this, uh, this, uh, blah, 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 Power up and then end stream. Baby! That's Niffle still! She just sneezed into the back. She's so sneezy. She's got them sneezes. Oh, small prince are the mark of the goddess celestial approach to technique the catwalk that means well you know our motto on me wait before you look yeah sure no oh i can just keep going you call me a bitch and yet you're offended when i say a slur hmm <laughs> hypocritical much very Elon Musk. Every Elon Musk fan ever. Yeah. Real. Real canon and true. Oh, no. Hello. Keep going. Keep going up the tower, please. We're going. We're getting it. We're doing. We're doing. We're doing. Hey, what's gotten into you, Ami? You trying to get to the top of the tower or something? You want enthusiastic furball? Well, I want to see what's over here. <gasps> meow meow! More meow meow? Okay, meow meow. We're cutting your snack a little short, but you can keep eating it while I'm while I'm not here watching. It's okay. A uh, climbing cat call. Yeah. We climbing. We're moving. Wish moving. We're going. Slowly but surely. We're getting there eventually. That's for sure. We'll get there eventually. Oh, for a second, I thought I was about to fall. Oh, more Meow Meow. There's a lot of... I wonder why there's so many Meow Meows on Cat Call Tower. It's almost like it's a cat tower. I haven't up for so long. I need to sleep later. Okay, good night. Have a good sleep, cryptids. Take a big old, big old nap. A big old sleep. Still sounds more like a whale to me. I'm not going to lie. 
really does not sound like meow meow. It's a reward for doing the whole climb twice. Oh, damn. That's kind of nice. I'm... I don't have an issue with doing something like that. I've done more tedious. Priest Godhood. Yep, yep, yep. Meow, meow. Snack time. I'm gonna run out of fish, though. Normally, I don't collect... Like, I don't hold on to so much fish food because... I'm not running too many cats. How tall is this tower? Oh, we're almost there. This is nothing. I've done like way more tedious. Almost there. Almost there. What's all the way to the top? I'm gonna go all the way up these. All the way up east. I guess there is a lot more than I thought. The stray bead, not much. If you don't go for all 100, that's fair. I'll get it later. Not a big deal. All right. Lacquerware set. It's a very pretty lacquerware. Keep going. Empty headed tower climbing. I love empty headed tasks like this, honestly. be fair straight beads make new game plus just silly shenanigans fair i've seen this mobile game ad before right oh, there's another platform over there i guess now it sounds like a cat call from down to the below it really does sound like like an orca call just like a whale a whale scream But it is starting to sound like a cat now. Doing sad little mare wows. Please don't fall. Please don't fall on me. That'd be really sad, Amaterasu. Just keep going. You're doing it. We're getting there. Sounds like a doggo. I guess. A little bit, maybe. Where do I enter? Here we go. Oh, mermaid. So I don't have to go like all the way back down. That's helpful. Um, let's keep going. Up the stairs, please, Amaterasu. Anything good? Bah. Okay. Incense burner. Yum. Good smells. And more ups. Or so you aren't required to climb it repeatedly if you don't have enough fish. Fair. Fair enough. Um, I imagine it wants me to go this way. Hello? Hi, Meow Meow. Licking your toes? Oh, baby. I mean, look, there's a kitty cat over there. I wonder what it's doing all alone up here. It couldn't have climbed all the way up by itself, could it? It could. It's a cat. It just does whatever the fuck it wants. It does whatever the hell it wants. It's a cat. Come here, meow meow. 
have a good snack. Eat well. Grow strong. Constellation here, yeah, we're on a giant fucking tower. Why wouldn't there be a constellation? Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. It's like a box of kittens? Can't remember what this god is. Might be a box of kittens. Hello? Oh no, it's a painting. Hi, meow meow. Kill. 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 Perish. Die. <laughs> it's so cute. Die, Isun. Uh, Matarasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. The swirling whirlpool of evil below has driven me to this height. From this perch, I observe the world below and its descent. If my power is needed once again, I, Kabegami, god of walls, shall gladly offer a bridge of hope to the realm below. Yusin is a good bean, but his character development comes very late. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's for sure. He takes his goddamn time to be good. Hey, I'm not your personal toy to be played with like that. Wait a sec, that must have been Kabigami, one of the 13 gods. You know, the one with the catwalk brush technique? And this kitty right here is a messenger of the gods. And here I thought I was just some stray cat. Whoa, check out the statue starting to glow. Oh, I get it. Baby spice, you sweet baby. Got the sniffles. Kamigami statue style use a kawaii power. Put your brush on into the statue and draw a line up the wall. Now let you transfer the god's kawaii power into the wall. She's still sneezing. Baby. Baby, baby. She got them sniffles. Yes, yes, yes. Will you look at that, Ami? A mark of Kabigami has appeared on the path you drew from the Kabigami statue. Now you can climb walls anytime you want, simply by summoning the mark of Kabigami, just like that. Speaking of rich, remember those uh, other Kabigami statues you saw? We should try a new brush technique on them, too. Yeah, we've seen a number of them. I can, I can figure that shit out. Ooh, big statue. Well, it's one big kitty statue. That must be the top of the tower. Doesn't the wind feel great? I suppose. Can I just jump off the tower from here? Oh. Oh, hey now. That's nice. We love to see a sun fragment. You collected three sun fragments to form a unit of solar energy. Hog. Hoggers. Let's see. Do I kind of just... I kind of want to just jump from here. The call, no. Call of the Void won't let me jump. Damn. Call of the Void not going to let me jump? That's bullshit. That's so sad. Okay, let's see. Uh... Now yeet. Yeet what? It won't let me yeet myself. The end of that platform does. Oh, does it? This platform? No, the one at the top, I guess. Okay. I can go back up.
Okay, go all the way over here. Why is my camera control the way it is? Okami's camera is so bad. Whoosh. Call of the void. It beckons. I'd like to keep going. Down more. I didn't get all the uh, treasure chests and I missed the ones that I didn't get uh, jumping down, but that's okay. We can be cool with it. All right, that's actually right on time. Oh, meow meow first. Add a fish. I'm gonna find a save point because uh, that was kind of right on time for me to start uh, wrapping up stream. Mm -hmm. It is now 9 p.m. I wonder how some may, someone may acquire such puppets. Uh, if you look at my coffee page, it's almost like I have commissions or something. It's almost like I have commissions or something that you could go look at. Oh, well, there's a save point. Did you look at that? Okay. Damn, 26 hours. Okay, actually, I'm gonna stay on the screen. Whoops. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit my microphone. All right, everybody, I'm gonna start wrapping up. I'm gonna start figuring out what I'm doing where I'm sending you all. Once again, you all better remember to behave. I want only good behavior when you guys are sent somewhere else. You have to be nice. You guys have to use good, kind words. Very important. Mm. Let's see. Where shall I send you? Uh, well, I'm figuring out where to send you guys. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a collab with Nido Sprout. We're going to be playing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes, which I look forward to since I am borderline illiterate with my dyslexia and I'm going to be reading a fucking manual trying to direct uh, what's going on, how going, where going, you know? Yeah, we collabing! I have to make my thumbnail still. I should work on that tonight. Um... Other than that, uh, Friday, I have a collab with Mick Spoofy. We're still figuring out what we're doing and we still don't know what time we're doing it. So all of you keep an eye out for that. Um, other than that, you can follow my Twitter to keep up with me. I do a lot of chatting. You can join my Discord, exclamation point Discord for a link to the Discord where I am frequently talking and I now uh, have discovered that I can voice, I can voice message in Discord. And so I'm going to be sending a lot of voice messages in Discord because I think it's fun. I think it's fun. Um, and if you want a puppet, if you'll see the little puppets that are right below me right here, you see them right here. Uh, you can, if you want one and you want to join the puppet rotation uh, slideshow, I have a Kofi page, I believe, exclamation point, uh, K-O dash F-I will take you to it. Otherwise, you can scroll down into my about uh, section, the panels under the stream, and there should be a thing that says tips. And if you go to tips, it will take you to my Kofi where you can find my commission info, where you can commission a puppet or just something normal, like an emote or an icon or just a sketch or whatever. Like, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much. Um, I think I'm going to send you guys over to someone that I just found recently. Um, and I have not watched her very much yet, admittedly. So we're going to have good, nice words. We're going to have good, nice words. We're still making, we're still working on impressions. Okay. Uh, Pixel, who's playing Coffee Talk Episode 2, uh, a game that I also don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're another smaller streamer. We're just going to go say some good, nice words. Okay. We always say the good, nice words. How, how can I spell their username? Can I spell the username? Maybe. There we go. All right, everybody. I will see you guys tomorrow, 6 p.m. EDT. Uh, yeah. Or what is that? Like 3 p.m. PST for Nido? For the PST crowd, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Convert that on your own. Uh, I'm, I don't know how to read. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye. Take care.